Timotheus, Rishon, 1 Timothy 6. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of Yahuwah and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise, and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to the fear of Yahuwah, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof comes envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is without Yahuwah. From such withdraw yourself, but the fear of Yahuwah with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the belief, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But you, O man of Yah, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, virtue, belief, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of belief. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto you are also called, and have professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give you charge in the sight of Yahuwah, who quickens all things, and before Yahusha HaMashiach, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that you guard at this commandment without spot, unrebukable, until the appearing of our Adonai, Yahusha HaMashiach, which in his times he shall show, who is the blessed and only potentiate, the king of kings, and Adonai of Adonim, who only has immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen, nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living Yah, who gives us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. Timotheus, guard that which is committed to your trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so called, which some professing have erred concerning the belief. Grace be with you. Amen.